I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 8290 BS Rockwood Signature Ultralight Fifth Wheel by Forest River. Uh, this this unit, this is a rear kitchen model. If you're new to Rockwood and maybe you're just researching this floor plan, uh, this unit actually weighs less than 10,000 pounds dry. Basically what this unit is, it's trying to take a lot of the features that we see in our bigger uh, 12 to 14,000 pound fifth wheels and put them in a smaller package. Uh, the fit and finish on this product is unbelievable. Uh, the options for something of this weight are awesome as well. So we're gonna try to look at that. I'm gonna try to point out as many as I can, uh, but just notice as we go through this, again, we're dealing with a unit that is less than 10,000 pounds dry weight, yet has all these features. So really cool floor plan. There you go, 8290 BS for Bet's Lab. And we're gonna go inside. I actually am gonna go to my right up to the bedroom first. So entering to the right, uh, hardwood steps here. We do like that, no carpet. Hardwood step covers there, hardwood look. But to the top, to my left is my bathroom. Uh, to the right, of course, I'm going into my bedroom. So I'm gonna actually turn and go to the left to this bathroom. My bathroom here to the left, very, very well equipped. We have a nice, nice size countertop there around the sink. Storage below. Toothbrush and uh, soap dish holder, all that kind of stuff there. A little medicine cabinet, a great shower. Um, shower with a seat built into it, plastic tub surround, glass shower doors. But just look how long the shower is. Really one of the biggest showers that uh, we see, more like a residential size to it. I'm trying to scoot back to give you a, an idea of the, of the perspective and scope of this thing. But a huge shower with a skylight, good natural light coming into it. Foot flush toilet here as well. And then a little bit of storage here also. Max air fan here in the bathroom above. So nice, well equipped. Uh, bathroom here in the uh, this unit going to the bedroom so a door to close the bedroom off to my right immediately we see a set of drawers here at the foot of the bed a TV already installed above it notice windows here on the two two windows actually at the foot of the bed on both sides of these drawers crank out style windows and then I'm gonna kind of pan around here you can see the bedroom it does have a bed slide in it a signature series that's where you can get that in the rockwood if you go to the regular ultralights uh, you lose that bed slide option as far as the bed goes serta mattress aluminum base storage below it i got a headboard i got nightstand to both sides of the bed i got windows on both sides there's actually lighting up there kind of reading lights on both sides outlets on both sides lots of space on the sides of the bed so easy to get in and out lots of space at the foot of the bed just a very good sized bedroom. Again, considering the size of the unit we're working with, we're not working with a 12, 13,000 pound unit. This is less than 10,000 pounds. Dual airs on this unit, that's an option, we got it. LED lighting throughout. Both airs are ducted, by the way, I neglected to mention that. And our closet here at the front, so we got a split closet. On the right, you can see kind of a standard uh, sliding glass doors here. To the right is where our washer dryer prep is. Yep, it's actually, again, it's got washer dryer prep in a unit of this size, but a ton of shelving and storage. There's shelves, there's shelves built into the front cap, there's a closet rod there to hang stuff on. Just a really cool, elaborate, um, deluxe deluxe front closet here in this unit. Again, both doors do that, both doors open up. But then here to the left, I got more storage, and a pretty good idea by Rockwood. If, if you want, you can use it as just standard shelving, but this shelf actually comes out if you want. You can have like a more of a hanging, hanging area if you have more clothes you wanna hang. Just gives you flexibility to decide what you want to do with it. And then, of course, some drawers below there as well. So extremely well-equipped, a very deluxe, nice um, front bedroom here. You'll notice one thing that as we're going throughout, the cabinet doors, that's a, a maple cabinetry option. There are a couple different options as far as that goes. That's what this one is, just a little more deluxe uh, cabinetry throughout the unit. So going back to the landing here, we saw to the right is our bathroom. And then I'm going to go down the steps, and you can see... Here is our, kind of our command center. Um, you've got this touchpad here that is found in a lot of the signatures. Um, these buttons control, you can kind of pause it if you want and look at all these, but tons of different things there. Tank heaters, uh, you got slide rooms, awnings, some lights, just a couple different things. The monitor panel is built in, you can see it right there as well. So again, just going for that more luxurious look to it. Uh, dual zone thermostat there to the right. Our ceiling fan switch here to the left, and then a lot of lights there below. Wi-Fi Ranger, that's an option that, um, excuse not really an option, it's something that Rockwood's made standard. It's an option they've made standard uh, on all their units. Wi-Fi Ranger, 
kind of like an amplifier for Wi-Fi signal, or you can create your own network. There are really cool videos about that, or you can look for more literature on that. Call us, we can explain more of that. For the sake of the video, I'm not gonna go too in-depth um, into that at this time. But again, nice, organized, neat control center there. And I'm gonna turn my left, I'm gonna get on these steps, and I'm just kinda, kinda pan around and show you our, our rear living room kitchen area. So two slides back here, opposing. Awesome, awesome amount of space. Tons of floor space because these opposing slides. We'll go down, you can see that. But a very, very open floor plan. In our living room area, go to the back and you can point up here to it. We got two seating areas, theater seats to the left, a trifold sofa there right in front of me for, for guests, and then a TV off to the right. So in the TV area, you can see a fireplace below, got faux stone, look around, it looks really neat. Our IRV sound bar and DVD player, all that stuff kind of combined in there. And then behind our TV, really it's little stuff like this that we like about Rockwood. Using that space, that's an awesome amount of storage space. I don't know if that's a two and a half feet deep, uh, but, but a pretty deep, I'm trying to give you some perspective. I know it's kind of hard, but a very large area there just for storing stuff. Maybe you put Rubbermaids in there, maybe you put your own shelving in there, maybe you put, I don't know, extra clothing or, or blankets, things of that nature, but you've got all that space to utilize and it's hidden away behind your TV. Above our trifold sofa, you can see storage up above there, tinted glass inserts, just a more rich look to it. And then our theater seats, again, we talked about that. You've got heat, you've got massage, of course they recline. Uh, lots of big windows around this area, very open, day-night shades as well. So very deluxe, nice living room. In the back in our kitchen, this has solid surface countertops. So a more deluxe countertop, an actual tile backsplash behind it, the biggest oven you can get. A 22 inch oven, you've got a glass top stove cover. So lots of countertop space and it's very deluxe. Again, beautiful cabinetry. There's actually the little uh, little thing about the residential. You got soft closed drawers and concealed hinges. So just nicer cabinetry in this unit. A microwave there as well. Then at the back, again, more storage, more cabinetry, more countertop space. You see flush mount sink covers. And it does have a split sink here. And then kind of hard with one hand. And then a uh, residential style faucet does pull out right there at a window at the back. This does have the option for the residential refrigerator. There is a, an even bigger one that is used in some floor plans. Uh, this one has this as the option. Just an awesome addition. Uh, very nice. It does have an inverter so when you're traveling or if you lost power you can run it. No worries there. But the residential refrigerator there by Insignia. And then our U-shape, I believe they call it the King. U booth, a bigger booth, which is nice. If you have adults sleeping um, here, it's, it's a lot better than those smaller booths, but a good sized booth there for guests to stay in as well. Storage below it also. Again, two airs, you probably hear the air running, our second air in here, our ceiling fan. Tons of LED lighting uh, throughout the unit. So that is the interior of the unit. We're gonna go back outside. I'm gonna show you some more features there. You probably saw when we walked up, you do have the step above steps by Moride here on the unit. And we'll back up, you can see a lot of times on this type of floor plan they'll have one big awning. Uh, Rockwood does not like doing that if they can avoid it. So they have actually done two awnings, which is awesome uh, for whoever purchases this. You got one awning here, and then they have the awning actually on the slide room. So you don't have some of your awning coverage eaten up by the slide room itself. So two awnings out here, essentially full coverage the entire length of it. I don't really think they could have made the awnings, awning coverage any better. Um, they, they went really above and beyond on that here on this unit. Our pass-through compartment up front, I'm going to show you that from the other side here in a second to see, to see the docking center. There's a water heater, Dexter axles, aluminum wheels, four-point electric auto level on this unit. We do love that. And then here's a little outside kitchen area. So I've got a little cooktop here. I've got a nice outside refrigerator. I've got some storage. I've got an outlet. But the fit and finish on this stuff, it's just, it's very neat. Things are firm, things are put put together well. Uh, nothing seems cheap. It's just a really well done uh, design here by Rockwood. Again, awning coverage on this slide. I've got outside speakers out here, outside TV hookup, even more storage here below our booth. Um, just really everywhere you look, Rockwood trying to utilize that space. Um, you can see magnetic latches. I didn't point that out. Magnetic latches, uh, slam latch compartment doors, more like a motorhome. And then there's actually an outside grill hookup if you wanted to do that there as well. On the back, there's that mount for that outside grill. Ladder on the back also. 
50 amp service, of course, with two air conditioners and washer dryer prep. You might notice the fiberglass on this is a lot shinier, um, for lack of a better word. The signatures do have a higher level gel gloss on the fiberglass versus the regular ultralights. Again, we see this really normally in more deluxe units, but here in this Rockwood signature, we do have that option uh, to have the nicer fiberglass. Big, uh, you can see dark tint windows, large windows throughout, frameless windows. And then here's our front pass-through compartment. So there, we actually have an outside grill option in on this as well. So you got two ways you can cook outside. There's the inverse of the left there for the residential refrigerator. Good storage here. And then here's our docking center. It's a very nice and neat a Nautilus docking center here by Rockwood. A little inlet down there for cables and cords to come through. It's just a well-organized, well-designed system. Auto level, there's the controls for that. Behind a little compartment door, covered away. And storage under the front as well. Turning point pin box up here. A lot of our customers that, that pull these are pulling them with a short bed truck. So if you do have a short bed truck, no worries, you can use this. Uh, there again more information can be found about that or call us i'd love to explain that more but essentially uh your pivoting point is back here where it attaches to the frame versus pivoting up here like a standard fifth wheel would so a nice addition if you have a short bed truck really helps you be able to pull this a lot easier cool front cap does have led lights on it forgot to turn those on uh, but this is the 2020 8290 bs rockwood signature ultralight fifth wheel by forest river uh, three slide model with a bed slide rear kitchen Two airs, washer dryer prep, solid surface countertops, self-leveling, outside kitchen, two awnings. But again, all of this in a unit that weighs less than 10,000 pounds. That's, that's the beauty of Rockwood. Lots of features in uh, reasonable size packages. So 2020 8290 BS Rockwood Signature, and that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.